I believe that this is a different animal. We've seen strikes before from uh, writers, certainly from actors in the past, but this one's a little different because uh, things have changed both technologically as well as their demand, <laughs> uh, just in general. So not too long ago, this was covered by uh, The Independent, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that's where we're going to be reading this one from. Netflix lists $900,000 AI job amid a strike for protections against scary technology. Netflix is facing criticism for listing an artificial intelligence uh, pro product manager role worth up to the, wow, upwards of $900,000 amid the ongoing actor strike. So the reason why that's so controversial is because this is one of the things that I think more specifically the writers are trying to, I don't, I'm not saying that the actors don't have their own concerns, but for sure the writers are trying to get ahead of. Um, right now, this is something that they actually worry about is the studios that are going to use them to not just maybe replace them momentarily to write out scripts and uh, do other things, but uh, even going into the future. And of course, that impacts the bottom line of the writers because, well, they have less incentive to hire you or you don't have as much of a negotiating chip to uh, bring to the bring to the table to even really be in a position to make demands. Um, I, I do think that some of this has to do with the fact that they are they, they did it to themselves. Uh, again, it's a different time. It's a different time period where, you know, you have a lot of terrible material that is being put out. Um, the rise of the independence is this kind of happening yet again, where people are able to uh, get competitive products for um, that seems to have a little more passion in it without the corporate BS. OK. Uh, and, and on the other side of it, you have. Well, I mean, look, your land duds, the technology's changed and people are, I'm not saying use it because I would never use that for my company uh, at, at all. I, I think this whole AI thing is going to end up actually positioning folks like ourselves to be able to charge a premium for our work if this is something that ends up uh, really, really uh, catching on. But you don't, you don't really have a bargaining chip, I guess is the point that I, that I mainly want to make. Now it says, of course, they've been shut down since July the 14th. Um, and it says uh, in the fight for increased base pay, higher streaming residuals and assurances that their work won't be replaced by. AI. again, that was a big part um, of it, which is why this is an issue. Uh, the wages are one thing, but the worst aspect is the whole idea of AI and what AI can do to us. And this is what an actor said. Uh, however, even fears of AI not only taking over the jobs, but also actors likeness. Likenesses grow. Netflix appears to remain strong in its investment in the technology. Everybody's investing in it. Now, I don't know about the likeness thing. That's something that I, I just they, they can actually do it, but not like legally um, do it. There's no way that they, they, they'd be able to do that. So the actors are going to have uh, less of a of, of a worry unless it, it's one of those things where it's like you're an actor in the role and they're going to use AI as um, almost like a CGI situation, which you, they're really already using um, anyway, which means that you aren't going to be required to work as much, which obviously means less pay um, for you. But other than that, I think this is going to really impact people that are more so back office or writers. And at current, the streaming conglom conglomerate, excuse me, uh, job board includes a position for a product manager, machine learning, platform it knows that the overall salary is going that's a lot of money 300,000 to 900,000 so they're going to look this is what's going to happen they're going to bring in people because it's not means that the job's going to completely go away uh, they're going to bring in people to help utilize these uh these technological tools to replace y'all that's essentially what's going to happen again more of the writers i think than than anything and yeah the fact that they're doing that in the middle of this whole like strike thing really shows that they don't care. And this is something that they for, for sure should be, be afraid of. Look, I've made this point. I don't think there's much else I need to say about it. I, I've made this point a million times from economics pay to the creative stuff. This stuff is not going to be resolved by the mega corporations. It's not going to happen. It's not going to be, uh, the solution will not come through them. Uh, and you all are corny for going to beg, especially the, the top level actors and the guys that get paid a lot of money, uh, that have a lot of money, 
the fact that they're also joining in on this shows that really what this all boils down to is this archaic model of wanting other people to foot the bill or pay for it, essentially, um, is what they want to do. And they themselves want as least risk as possible, because if all of them were such geniuses and such creative talents, the money's fluctuating. They could either pull the resources together, some of the top level actors start making their own studios. A lot of them have their own studios, but again, it's studios as a proxy. It's more of, well, we have a, a pool of talent and they still need the funding instead of them putting the resources to create that and then putting it out there and actually getting a return on it, which that means less content probably coming out, but more better, uh, better quality uh, coming out. And people are really going to be punished in the event that the market doesn't respond. This is why. It's so unattractive to these types independent stuff. That's why it's not it's not that they, you know, hate the independence, though they do. I, I think in some ways, spite independence. It's less risky for them to continue the mega corporate route. So this is why I say they kind of need each other. So they'll reach a deal, I do believe, at some point. But it won't it will probably not be favorable, at least to the writers. I think the writers are. If, if they really want to make some money and they really want to try to solve these problems, going through the mega corporations is just not going to happen. But uh, why am I giving them advice? Why am I helping them? Maybe they should just run the bad boy into the ground and uh, we'll see what happens. If you like this video and want to get into a new comic book universe, visit Ripperverse.com. Our first campaign for Ice Sum 1 hit $3.7 million and the pre-order campaign for Ice Sum 2 is currently live. So go check it out and watch the official launch trailer, which is the first animation of Ripperverse Studios.